very few people know my real name is Achal. So even today when I hear somebody calling out Achal, I know he's my school friend. My father continued to study and he became part of the Socialist Party. He took up some jobs and every job that he took up, he used to fight for the cause of the workers and he was thrown out. But George then, Fernandez was his junior colleague. Given today how technology is progressing, do you think we'll see a digital avatar of Sri Devi in Miss India sequel? There's just this seed which has been put into my mind. Who are the successful producers who are just producers? The first few names which came to my mind were the South producers. So I knew that they didn't make a Hollywood picture. They take the Malayalam right, they make Tamil. If they go to Tamil, they make it in Telugu. And when they were hit in Telugu, they make it in Hindi. So I said, this is the best formula, remake. And he had mentioned this to Javed Sahib. The only person who returned Hari Bhai's money was Boni. Why it's always the heroines who get replaced from movies? Sometimes the actors are uncomfortable. Sometimes the director feels that they've made a wrong choice. I want to take you back to your childhood, sir. What is your earliest memory of your childhood? Earliest memory is, yeah, we were part of this film industry. We used to look forward to the parties hosted by our Raj uncle, parties hosted by Shami uncle. The birthday party is hosted by Geeta Aunty, you know, Shami uncle's wife. When Mickey, because Mickey, Anil, me, we are all, all of the same age group. You know, there's a difference only of a year or two years or three years. And there were others also, so that's our childhood. And obviously, since we were surrounded by film families, so there was a talk of films. There were trial shows, which we used to see films. You know, earlier, the trial were, even if the film is ready in five reels or seven reels, uh, we used to have shows in RK Studios. Rajangal used to love showing films. We used to show our films. There was nothing, nothing held in secrecy. There was no piracy, and everybody was concerned with their own job. So that fear of being being copied or being, uh, you know, spoken of or you know people getting into any kind of a chatter about the film wasn't really there. Each each producer or each maker was only minding his own business. Of course, they drew inspiration from these big makers, the big makers like Raj Kapoor, Mehboob Khan, Bimal Roy, uh, so on and so forth, Shakti Samanta, Pramod Chakravarti, Ramanand Sagar. I mean, there were many, you know, I've grown through these great stalwarts era. There were some great directors who made some fantastic films. Sure. I have seen in my lifetime Superstars of three or four generations. Four generations. Yes, yes, yes. I heard of I had heard of Shami Kapoor, Apna Raj Kapoor, Dilip Kumar, Devanand, the legacy of these three stars, coming down to Rajinder Kumar, Shami Kapoor, and say Pradeep, uh, no, Pradeep Kumar in Bharat Bhushan, then down to Dharmender, Manoj Kumar, Shashi Kapoor, then down to Rajesh Khanna, Jetender, uh, Navin Nishchal, and so on, and then coming down to Anil Kapoor, Sunny Diol, Jackie Shroff, Sanjay Dutt, then coming down to Shah Rukh Khan, Salman Khan, Amir Khan. And now? And now to Ranbir, uh, Varun, Arjun, and Ranbir Singh. And? And Dalji Dusanj. Ah, Dalji Dusanj and Aishwan Khurana. So yeah. This, I followed these, uh, the first era I had heard about but, Dilip Kumar, Devanand, and Raj yeah. Kapoor, the kind of fan following they had. Each had a distinct style and their films carried the stamp of their style. So Dilip was known as Tragedy King, Devanam those like uh, was... Flamboyant. Flamboyant and romantic star. Yeah. Flamboyant C.K. Okay. Shami Kapoor. And Raj Kapoor was known as the Tramp. So every star had their own individual mark. It, same thing followed in the next generation, same thing followed in the other generation. So every actor became a star, carried their own uh, mannerisms, the own approach, the own style, which probably impressed the masses then, which impressed the fan, their fans, and some of them, I mean, had a fan following which was huge. I forgot to add Amitabh Bachchan, who came in the same period in between, the 17th, biggest star 17th. of yeah in, in this uh, period. You know, after Rajesh Khanna's time, it was Amitabh Bachchan. You know, Rajesh Khanna, Dharmendra, then Amitabh Bachchan. Chitinder had such a long innings. Shashi Kapoor had such a long, you know, then Mithun also was there. I mean, all these actors, I have seen them grow the their first film, then their second film, and how they reach the peak of their star. So I have seen See, their growth. I have, of course, Ashok Kumar continued, right? Before probably 
Dilip Kumar, Devanand Raj Kapoor, there was Ashok Kumar. But by the time I grew up, he was playing character roles. Yeah. He was playing the second hero, or rather, he was playing the pivotal character in a film. So, what was the world of 50s and 60s like when you were growing up in Mumbai? See, first of all, 50s ka world ka mere ko jada, I am not aware. I heard, I heard about it after I grew up. Okay. Because I'm, I was born in 55. Yeah. So, I heard about it. My father's first film came, released in, I think, 1960. Okay. Okay. With Pradeep Kumar and Gita, and Gita Bali. Yeah. We had a Kavali with Shami Kapoor and Shashi Kapoor. And that's the only... Portion, uh, film portion with the two of them together. When you see it, you have made a house. We had Shami Kapoor, Shashi Kapoor, Om Prakash, Bhagwan Dada, Shama, uh, Kum Kum. It was an ensemble cast doing, in, who helped my father. In fact, it was Gita Aunty who was instrumental in Gita Aunty and Shami Uncle who, who were instrumental in getting, collecting these actors to do this Kavali number to help the film yeah, move no. on. Even that film was held up twice. Once when Geeta Aunty was pregnant with Kanchan and once I think my father, those days my father didn't have a car. So the crew was leaving for Mable shirts. Some of the people had left and my father was traveling in a train and he was carrying about 40, 50,000 rupees which probably was the expense of that outdoor. And in the train, when his eyes were gone and when he was gone, he was gone to the train. He was gone to the train. Maybe he was sitting down in a position where the notes just fell off. Oh God. And then? And then what? Shooting had to be cancelled. And it had to be rearranged. So all these things <coughs> had delayed that film too. Then of course he made Tarzan comes to Delhi with Dara Singh and Mumtaz, which at that time was a profitable film. Then came Ek Shidman, Ek Shrimati with Shashi Ankal and Papita. Then came uh, uh, Shehzada with Rajesh Khanna and Rakhi. Rakhi was new. Rajesh Khanna was a superstar and he stood by my father. We made that, my father made that film in about eight months time. Then came uh, Ponga Pandit with Randir Kapoor. Randir. Then Phool Kine Gulshan. These were my father's films, still Phool Kine Gulshan. Last two films, Ponga Pandit and Phool Kine Gulshan Gulshan, I was the EP or the, those days they, was, they, were, they were not known as executive producers. What they were known as production controllers. Okay. But then later, this thing was evolved EP. So if you see the brochures or the booklets of those films, my name is there as E.P. So your real name is Achal Kapoor. That's right. Who kept Boni then? Who see, gave Boni the also was my, my pet name. Wow. Uh, these names were given to me by my grandmother. And, she, and I, I mean, everybody thought Achal was a great name. But you see, I, as I grew up, I felt, after I passed out from school, I felt Achal was too formal and it, कुछ सीरियस नाम लगता था अचल कपूर लगता था कोई बुजुर्ग आदमी आ रहे हैं खैर मेरे ये ख्याल आते हैं आई थॉट बोनी कपूर वाज फार मोर फ्रेंडलीयर फार मोर यंगर मोर यूथ एंड ऑल दैट तो आई इवन माय फर्स्ट पासपोर्ट वाज मेड अचल कपूर आल्सो नोन एज बोनी कपूर ओके ओके सो इवन टुडे व्हेन आई हियर समबडी कॉलिंग आउट अचल आई नो ही इज माय स्कूल फ्रेंड और फ्रॉम माय स्कूल डेज ओह नाइस नोबडी टुडे इन द फिल्म इंडस्ट्री और इन टुडेस वर्ल्ड very few people know my real name is Achal. It's thanks to my email ID that some people have discovered this. In fact, uh, Rishi Kapoor has written about this name of mine in his book. Okay. Because uh, he happened to be, I mean, at a place where, at a hotel, and he thought he saw me. So he asked the, the uh, lobby manager, Ke, is Boni here? So they said, no, Boni is not here. He said, no, but I just saw him. So they said, no, I, it is Achal Kapoor. So I had checked into the hotel as Achal Kapoor for my own reasons. Don't ask me the reason. Which year was that? It was in mid-90s, 94, 94, okay. 94, 95. You have, you have four brothers and sisters, three brothers and one sister. You are the eldest one. Were you a bully while growing no, up? No, Did no, you no. bully them? No, no. We grew up as, me and I grew up as friends. Mm. In fact, Sanjay also, nobody called me Boni Bhaiya or anything. Sanjay also calls me Boni, although there's a difference of Reena. My sister also calls me Boni. So Sanjay was born in 1962. And I was born, so there's a seven years gap. Gap. 62, 64 messenger brother was, sorry. Okay. In spite of this age gap. Uh, do you used to control them, you know, do this, do that, no? No, I said, neither. I mean, we were always, you know, we started our life in a one room house in Chembur, Township Colony, which is known as Tilaknagar today. Mm -hmm. We moved to Sain, which was a two bedroom house. Then we moved again to Chembur Maitri Park, which was again a two bedroom house. And when my grandmother passed away, my 
my parents brought my grandfather uh, to Bombay. तो जो एक कमरे हम चार सोते थे क्योंकि दो एक डबल बेड होता था उसके नीचे से एक और पलंग निकलता था तो जो मेरी सिस्टर सोती थी पर जब मेरे ग्रैंडफादर आ गए तो हम तीनों भाई डबल बेड पर सोते थे और सिस्टर यूज टू बी ना सेपरेट बेड विच यूज टू बी पुल डाउन फ्रॉम दी मेन डबल बेड ओके वेन माई ग्रैंड फादर केम वी हैड टू गिव द रूम टू हिम एंड वी ऑल यूज टू स्लीप इन द हॉल गदे लग जाते थे और हम सो जाते थे देन लेटर वी गॉट अन अदर रूम देर इन द सेम सोसाइटी राइट नेक्स्ट टू अ बिल्डिंग So me and Anil shifted down. My sister got married. My grandfather passed away. Then Sanjay had that room for himself. Then of course we shifted to. I think after Mr. India release, we shifted to his bungalow at the back road in Lokanbala. And now we are here. And in between, of course, I shifted to Green Acres. Yeah. But you know, I have memories of uh, the entire journey right from Tilak Nagar to this house. So for for you, the home was mostly Green Acres. No, my home. I mean, my family home, where my mother still there, our house in back road, Lokhandwala. Yeah. That's where me, uh, my then wife Mona, Arjun, Anshula, Sanjay. Sanjay got married. Uh, Mahip was there. My parents. We. I mean, that became our family home. And Anil was close by. He was in Juhu. Yeah. And our office. My first. After we shifted from Famous Studios, we. My father had an office in Famous Studios. Okay. We had two offices there. Two offices in the sense two rooms. Yeah. One room was the room where my father used to sit, and one room was where the staff used to sit. Then the first office that we really operated as a full-fledged production office was uh, between Lokhandwala and Jhoo. There's a Jhoo Varsova Link Road. Yes. So we were there uh, in that building, J M B Society, on the second floor. Okay. Full floor. Okay. Is the society is still there? Yeah, it is still there. the jew link road office is where you know the writers when they need to sit alone and think and write they use that space was anil kapoor always self obsessed like he always wanted to be a hero while growing up or you also well, I, i i i i will not call him self obsessed he was a hard working boy and he was concerned about every aspect of his personality be it his looks but he loved himself even we see we heard Uh, the banter between you, both both of you uh, he said boni kaisa lag raha hu main acha laga hu na and ha ye to tha main bhi apni maa se puchta tha maa main sundar hu and plus anil mere ko matlab hum log jab when we were growing we were in maitri park so we had this you know wardrobe cupboard and he used to make me stand put a mark and then target ke mai itna fir niche hamare jo kamra tha we had a uh, open space outside so there we had this Double bar and the pull-ups ka uh, rings, so where he used to because he wanted to be as tall as me. Of course, he he's tall. He's about five eleven, and I'm six one something, close to six one. So, I was the tallest at home, and he he realized that he's not as tall as me. So he worked hard on his on becoming taller. We were always like friends together. I mean, we played games together. We even dated together. So. So then, uh, did you, did you ask your father when he uh, shifted to India and when he migrated to India? No, the family, my grandparents and my father, they migrated during partition. My father continued to study and graduated from one of the colleges in Delhi, and there, since uh, you know, there was a political uh, situations being developed. he became part of the socialist party in fact From george then, fernandez was his junior colleague okay and uh, that's what i had heard from him and a couple of times he had come visiting my father in the office too my father was very proud when he when george fernandez won the elections too and became a minister minister when that was later earlier he stood for election he lost couple of i think one or two elections he lost then he won finally became a minister but I heard this name Achut Kirplani, Achut Patwardhan, or some. They were socialist doins, and uh, my father was. I mean, he doesn't have a certificate that he went to jail. My mama went to jail. My father's mama, sorry, whom we used to call Mama Ji. So we had during uh, freedom struggle. During freedom struggle, yeah. So these these stories we've only heard. My father then, you know. Uh, after he graduated he he took up some jobs and 
every job that he took up, he used to fight for the cause of the workers and he was thrown out. So I think it happened eight or nine times or ten times. My grandfather got fed up of this constant joining a new company and then being thrown out or whatever. Then since Prithri, Prithi Raji was close to us, close to our family, and uh, his wife was my father's grandfather's niece. Okay. It, my grandfather's sister's daughter. Okay. And Prithi Raji also from a, some distant Kusha, Kuch Mare seeds the yeah. family ke. Ab, that part of the family abhi jaise hota na Dabun Radni Kapoor ne ek bar kaha tha we are rela related via satellite. But the actual fact is uh, Mrs. Prithviraj Kapoor was my grandfather's niece okay. and she used to tie Rakhi to my father. Okay. So that's the closer part of it. Bua. Uh, my father. Um, yeah. My bua. She becomes yeah. Yeah. my bua. Yeah. And uh, those days, Prithi Rajji used to have his Prithvi theater, which used to go all, all around the country. And my grandfather told Prithi Rajji while he was visit, passing Meret, to take this son of mine with you because he's just jumping job from one job to the other job. And I want him to be, you know, serious in his life. So Prithi Rajji was the one who got my father to Bombay. Then he stayed in their house in Matunga. That's where he became friends with Shami uncle because they were almost, they were, you know, hardly any difference in their age. My father was elder, Shami uncle was, but they were, you know, Shami uncle was a big built man, so was my father. So they, they looked like same age bracket ke those the. Raj uncle, of course, was senior and he was already an established big star. So Shami uncle was, when my father came into Bombay, Shami uncle was still struggling, not married, bachelor. So that's where their friendship grew and remained right till the day that uh, Shami Uncle lived. Shami Uncle was my favorite actor and there were times when we used to spend vacations in Shami Uncle's house. Because there again, Geeta auntie was very, very close to my father. She used to tie Raki to my father. And she was the one who helped my father to make the first film. Yes. That's how she acted in the film too. She had taken a sabbatical, but she started acting again with my father's film. So the journey continued. That's how we used to, our vacation used to be either in Delhi with our relatives or Meerut where my grandparents were staying or at the Raj Kapoor's, uh, Raj uncle's Loni farm. The full family used to travel, the huge farm. I learned my driving there. In fact, uh, Reema, who is Raj uncle's younger daughter, yes. she could drive a car before we could drive. So me, Anil and Bantu, there was another uh, friend of ours, part of the family. She taught us driving. Okay. And uh, some occasion I spent in Shamankal's house while he was also in Chambur, close to Rajankal's house. Then he shifted to uh, Malabar Hill. In Malabar Hill also, as kids, we used to go there. And for the first time, we saw bunk beds in that house. Okay. And between me, Mickey, and Anil, there always used to be a fight who will sleep on the upper bunk. So all those memories are there. Then birthday parties, hoti thi, dance competition. Hota tha. Prithi Raji used to come and best dancer ko kuch. He used to get those fresh bank notes and distribute everybody and a little bit extra for the best dancer or the best this thing. So, yeah, sab cheeze, mala, bachpan mein humne dekhi hai and uh, in fact, one uh, major incident that took place while we were staying with Shami uncle, in Shami uncle's house in Chambur, you know, unhinu mein fashion tha Impala gaadiyo ka. So, Shami uncle ki nahi ga Impala gaadi hai thi while he was in outdoor. So, me, Anil, Miki one day decided to drive the car ourselves. So Mickey was on the steering, Anil was down handling the, uh, the accelerator and this thing and I was with the gear. Yeah. <laughs> Finally the car just took off and banged a tree and the windscreen broke. Oh God. So we didn't know now what to do. For almost two, three hours we were hiding in the car itself. <laughs> but then, I mean, of course Geeta auntie got to know, before Shami uncle could come back the car was fixed. So that's one of the, the sweet memories that uh, yeah, I okay. can recall, you know, when you're young and growing up, all these things have an impact on your mind and these are the sweet memories which keep you, you know, when you think of it, you laugh, there's a smile on your face, you feel good about things and sometimes you regret about things which happened. So we'll talk about the regret later, sir, but uh, when you started your journey as a producer, were you always this big risk taker? 
No, see, my journey as a producer started with this film, Ampanch. Okay. And uh, the mission then was to get debt free. Because our, of my father's film, Phool Kele Gulshan Gulshan, was a big disaster. And in those days, it had a, I mean, my father carried a debt of 20, 22 lakh of rupees. So that had to be, and there were several cases against my father for, uh, for unable to repay the money back from. And those days, the finances used to give 10,000 rupees, get a hundi signed. 20,000 rupees get a hundi sign. So every person who loaned even 10,000 rupees used to be used to talk to people that I'm the financer of that picture. So we had various such finances, not just for our film, for other films too. Okay. So Hampanj's mission was to get debt free. Okay. And of course, to continue the production so that everything rolls on as smoothly as it was. Fortunately, the film did well. We shot the film in 42 days. And I, I, if I remember right, that 20 or 22 lakh rupees debt had become 36 or 38 lakh rupees by the time Hampanch was to release. And the film had made enough profit for me, um, for us to pay off the debt. And I was left with 1 lakh rupees. And uh, now there is, I have said this earlier also, I am the last person to travel overseas in my family. Anil, Sanjay, Reena have traveled before me. Okay. I didn't want to travel overseas. There were two, three reasons. A, I didn't want to stay in any relative's house. Although I was forced to stay once at my relative's house. My thing was, ki, I want to travel first class and I want to stay in a hotel. So it was after the release of Bosa Din that I went abroad for the first time. I traveled first class and the minute I got down at the airport, the gentleman who had come to receive me, I said, take me to the hotel where Amita Bachchan stayed. How Hampa started? Did you have enough finance? To start <coughs> much? See, my father had tremendous goodwill. And uh, Ampanch was a very unusual subject for those times. You know, it didn't have the template of a commercial film, a mainstream film. There you had a bunch of five boys. It was basically allegory of Mahabharat. So Sanjeev Kumar was playing Krishna, Krishna's part. Five boys were Pandavs. Amrish Puri was Duryodhan. And Kanailal was Shakuni. was picture me Ghana, and Ampanch Pandav, ye Shakuni Mama. Yeah. So it was a well-conceived film, it was a remake of this Telugu film, which was a remake of a Kannada film. Okay. Kannada film didn't have Krishna. Okay. This Telugu writer had created this character and made it more closer to uh, the episodes of Mahabharat. In fact, Krishna was also playing his brother's pop. This is the first, the second, the fifth, you know, if you see, have seen the film. The film did very well. Celebrated Silver Jubilee in a couple of theatres in Bombay Swastik. Right till the last 26 week, it got us a share of 2,000 rupees. And thankfully, you know, we paid off all our debts. And instead of going abroad with this one lakh of rupees, uh, I bought a color TV and a VCR. Those days, you know, with 81 may, shuru ho gaya tha. Yes. And only the affluent people had yes. it. So in Delhi, mein tha, to these, you know, some of the diplomats, they had this uh, privilege of getting these color TVs and VCRs. So one of them, we were lucky that one of them wanted to sell it off. And I bought it. Grand Duke ka TV, tha, 26 inch ka, which was bigger than the normal TVs available in people. Pehle sirf 24 inch ke color TV the bomb, India. Mein. Okay. So this was 26 inch, ka tha, Hitachi ka VCR, tha, that piano type. The thought behind uh, buying this was, a, of course, we all were movie buffs in the family and my our friends too. But the main thing was because I had just, when I had passed out of the college, I knew college was more for, you know, getting new friends, looking for girlfriends, looking for, you know, all these things. So my sister was just about to join college. So this was like an attraction for her to come back from college. As soon as the college is over, she comes back home with her friend to just, to, because the craze of watching a film at home was, was huge. So that was one th this thing. To my sister and friends used to enjoy the uh, watching films on the color TV and the VCR at home. And in the nights, me and Anil, we had our friends over and we would watch the film because the TV and VCR was in the hall. Okay. You know, we used to get these uh, foreign titles. Of course, the prints were never original. Yeah. But some prints were good enough for us to watch and understand the full film. Yeah. Some of the old Hindi films were there which which probably we had missed out and some film which we had liked very much 
we want to see it again so we could see that playing the uh, playing it on a vcr and so all these things uh, we enjoyed and uh, it it was a great period in our life you would have talked to me about sanjeev kumar connection you didn't tell me the story well sanjeev kumar did work for us in hampanch and hampanch when we signed when we got the rights and we were in talks with sanjeev kumar because before hampanch we had tried our hand in making a film with quite a few directors they used to just give us an idea or a plot and not, nothing developed beyond that and one of the plots where we had liked i had we had met sanjeev kumar to play a part in on it that never materialized when i bought the rights of hampanch to this krishna's part uh, i thought sanjeev kumar would be the most appropriate so i approached him and those days in my presence i knew that he had signed a film for 10 lakh rupees so i went up to him and i said see i need you just for 20 25 days and he was first of all shocked see hero ka kaam tum kaise decide karega as in your picture dekho kar picture dikha he liked it i said this is the role you will play krishna's part and i can't afford to pay you 10 lakhs he said what can you afford to pay me so i said see anything around 7 lakhs to 7 lakh 25000 he said okay pay me 7 lakhs so next day i landed at his me and my father landed at his place and while we were chatting about so many other things my father spoke about my sister's uh, marriage which was scheduled in the coming months so we had carried 55000 rupees 5000 ka check aur 50000 cash the to he said bachchi ki shaadi hai aap takleef mein ho qarza hai to ye mere ko itne paise ki zarurat nahi he just took a 5000 rupees check and said i'm doing the picture right till the release of the picture he didn't take any more money on release my i mean we paid him the entire balance amount that's how we struck a rapo and while we were there in melkote he was supposed to shoot with us for 20 25 days but he overstayed for a few days you know he came in twice he was the only actor who was allowed to sh- to travel back and back and forth so we got along very well the whole crew got along very well we were almost like one family staying together so when that film released i was in chennai we thought we'll make a film with anil there again after working on several ideas and a couple of directors i gave up the thought of making a film with a bombay director because somehow you know i analyzed during ham panch the frustration had grown to an extent i'm going back and forth so that you understand what yes. my mindset was that time so director ha karte the milte the signing amount le lete the kuch kahani ka plot sunate the uske baad wo plot ko hi ghumate rehte the it never developed into a screenplay so one night i just thought ke who are the successful producers who are just producers to my mind uh, the first few names which came to my mind were the south producers then i went deeper into why are they if they are just produ- how, how come theirs and everybody had their own studios they had built up em- built em- empires to pata chala ki inhone original picture banayi nahi hai wo malayalam ke right lete tamil mein banate hain matlab malayalam picture banti thi 19 20 dino mein uska content bahut acha hota tha us content ko wo develop karte the aur tamil mein banate the थोड़ा और स्प्रेड करके थोड़ा स्केल देके तमिल बना तमिल में चल जाती तो उसको तेलुगु में बना देते तो तेलुगु में और मसाला ऐड होता था कॉमेडी ट्रैक ऐड होता था एक्शन ऐड होता था और जब तेलुगु में हिट होती थी वो हिंदी बनाते थे तो एक पिक्चर से वो तीन हिट पिक्चर बनाते थे तो खैर मुझे तो तमिल तेलुगु पिक्चर उस वक्त नहीं बनानी थी तो मैंने बोला ये बेस्ट फार्मूला है रीमेक बनाओ तो आए दैट्स हाउ आई ट्रेवल टू चेन्नई एंड सो मनोहरी पांडलू विच वॉज दी ओरिजिनल तेलुगु वर्जन ऑफ हम पांच ओके डायरेक्टर भी मैंने वहीं का लिया पचास हज़ार में डायरेक्टर को साइन किया पचास हज़ार में सब्जेक्ट के लिए मैं राइट लिए थे तो वैन आफ्टर हम पांच रिलीज वैन बी थॉट ऑफ लॉन्चिंग अ फिल्म विद अनिल आई मीन स्टार्टिंग अ फिल्म विद अनिल टू लॉन्च हम एंड दोज डेज भाग्य राजा वॉज अ बिग नेम ही ही हैड मेड अ कपल ऑफ फिल्म विच आर ब्लॉक बस्टर्स एंड वन ऑफ इज फिल्म विच वॉज मेड इन हिंदी अगेन ऑज अ बिग हिट तो ही हैड अ फिल्म ऑन फ्लोर विच I happened to see because my director Bapu who had done Ham Panch was going to see it to make it in Telugu. I saw the Tamil version and I I was quite floored by the content. It was not a, not a complete film the climax wasn't there. But after the show was over the producer of the Tamil version narrated what the climax is. 
<coughs> so I heard that I was there present with Bapu. I came back to Bombay, discussed with my father and Anil. And Anil said, "Forget that subject. Boni, get these rights." So I flew back to Chennai. When I reached Chennai, I got to know they were all the top producers of Chennai, Madras then, were angling to buy these rights. Oh. And fortunately for us, the financer of that film, the world rate control of that film, the negative holder of that film, they had they had a production company called Venus Studio. They had a studio too, okay. Mr. Govind Rajan. Okay. You see, while Bapu worked with us in Hampanch, he shot a Telugu film with Anil uh, Amsa Prakasham. Mm where Anil was appreciated. Yes. And then this Veena Studios were planning a Kannada picture. Okay. And Maniratnam was to be launched. Okay. So they chose to, I mean, somehow they thought Anil would be the right choice for that role. So Anil did the Kannada film, which was the launching pad for Maniratnam too. Okay. And Govind Rajan, who was the negative right holder of original uh, Andhel Natkal, that is original title of uh, Vosaddin, mm -hmm. he had the negative rights till the time the producer doesn't, doesn't pay him the complete money, he will not, he will hold the rights. <clears throat> and he cannot release the picture till the time he doesn't pay the money. So I was there for almost 40 days every day going to him and saying I want this rights. So he said yes, this role suits your brother. Because we, we imagine, you know, this is a role where the hero has got to look like Raj Kapoor and Anil looks, has a resemblance and he has that, that kind of persona in his eyes and that look he will be good for this film. So I said, then give me the rights. He said, wait. So in my presence there itself, some Puna Chandra used to come, some T. Ramana, you know, invariably people used to visit angling for rights. My daily routine here, I stayed in a president hotel, vegetarian hotel, I think 100 rupees per day with uh, breakfast in the morning, lunch in the afternoon, tiffin in the evening, and dinner in the night. Okay. It was all inclusive. My director had a house right opposite that hotel. So in the daytime after lunch, what would I do? I used to take his car, drive up to the studios where Sanjeev Kumar was shooting, Shabana was shooting, Moshmi was shooting, Vinod Mehra was there. So by time pass, I was sitting there and I was sitting there with them. I was sitting there with them. They would pack up. They would go to their hotel. I would go to their hotel. One day, this was the 39th or the 40th day when I met Mr. Govind Rajan. He said, Boni, tomorrow, if you can arrange for 1,25,000 rupees, you will get the rights. Film has got to release day after tomorrow and producer has got to pay me this balance. So you get the money in the morning and I will see that the rights come to you. So where do I get the money? 1,25,000 rupees. Ampanch had bought the rights for 50,000 rupees. And he 125, I mean, 1,000,000 rupees, I mean, 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 so, I was in the house, I was in the routine, I was in the studio. I was in the house, I was in the house, and I'm not as spirited or as talkative or as jovial, uh, jovial as normally I was, you know, enjoying every joke and all that. He asked me, something wrong with you? I said, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. Finally, after pack of it, said, I'll travel in your car. My car is air conditioned, I can't smoke in my car. Your car, car is non AC, I will. Enjoy my smoke also and will you drop me because he used to stay in Chola. Pele Chola and a little head was my hotel, President Hotel. So we drove together. He had a typical style of smoking like Kiasif. He also had worked with Kiasif. So he used to smoke a cigarette. Ash has a kiriki bar out of the window used to throw. So when he was in Chola, he got down and came around and then stood by the window where I, I was, because I was driving. He said, Boni, what is the problem? Ke? You are not the same, and I have noticed this from the studio itself. So I told him, Haribai, I used to call him Haribai. 40 days I was sitting here. I didn't get a ticket for today, I didn't get a ticket for tomorrow. I didn't get a ticket for tomorrow. I didn't get a ticket for tomorrow. You had to call up a travel agent yes. to book a ticket. Okay. So, the ticket was not so frequent in Chennai, it was so frequent in the morning, it was so frequent in the morning, it was so frequent in the night. So, maybe tomorrow my ticket will be done and I will go to the office. And just because I was sitting here, the rights are asking for 700 rupees and I don't have money. By then, I had seen the Tamil version also and I said, it's a terrific film to launch channel. Okay, 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 this is the thing. So, he said, okay, good night. So, I dropped him and I came to the hotel. I had my dinner. 
जो उधर थाली आती थी इतने में मेरे कमरे में फ़ोन आया हरी भाई के बॉय का कि भाई बात करना चाह रहे हैं अच्छा क्यों पता नहीं पता तो खैर फिर चिल्ला के बोला कि नहीं भाई ने बोला सुबह आके मिल लेने को मतलब बिफोर आई कुड आई बिफोर ही कुड गिव द फोन टू तो हरी भाई भी कुछ कर रहे होंगे कुछ होगा तो बोला धोनी जी बोला सुबह अपना मेरे को नौ बजे होटल में आने को बोलो आई वॉज वॉन्टिंग भाई जी कॉलिंग एट नाइन इन द मॉर्निंग इट डेंट अकर टू मी वॉट हिज प्लान वॉज तो एज ही हैड आस्ट मी टू कम एट नाइन आई रीस्ट हिज होटल ही वॉज इन अ स्वीट एंड मिस्टर सरोज मोदी वॉज इज हु वॉज इज मेकअप मैन वॉज रीडिंग अ नावल पकड़ा हुआ था तो मैं अंदर आया तो डोर वॉज शट नॉट क्लोज तो आई टू जस्ट नॉक एंड एंटर कम एन बाबा अरे बोनी तुम आ गया भाई पूछ रहा था तुम आने वाला है तो देन ही नॉक द बेडरूम डोर एंड टोल्ड द बॉय के साहब को बोलो बोनी जी आ गए आफ्टर फ्यू सेकेंड्स द बॉय केम आउट टोल मी साहब आपको अंदर बुला रहे तो आई वॉज वंडरिंग के अंदर आई होप आई एम नॉट डन एनीथिंग रॉन्ग खेर आई वेंट टू द बेडरूम and he got out of the bathroom with the towel and he was brushing his teeth wo bola bolu wo just wo takke uthao to maine takke uthaya to dekha niche paise pade hain wo 1.5 lakh rupaye hain to paise lo ja ke rides kharido to aise mujhe date niche hai mere ko kal hi 25000 shabana ne diye hain bola mere ko bombay mein de dena bole nahi nahi wo shabana ke paise tum shabana ki mummy ko de dena ये तुमको जो चाहिए मेरे से इधर से ले जाओ तो मैंने बोला नहीं कैस मैं आपको वापस कैसे करूंगा बोला पहले तुम राइट लो बाद में वापस करने की बात करना तो ही मेड श्योर आई कलेक्टेड वन लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड ऐसे अभी भागो जाओ उसके घर पे उसको पैसे दो राइट्स लेके आओ एंड मेरे को स्टूडियो आके बोलो कि राइट्स तुमको मिल गया लेटर लेके आना साथ में तो आई वेंट टू गोविंद राजन आई गिव एम दिस वन लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड लकीली द प्रोड्यूसर वॉज देयर यू नो probably trying to convince him ke let me just release the film after the because he must have felt ke if the picture is a big hit he can get a better prize or whatever so he said nothing doing i want the money now and i had got that money so wahi pe unhi ke ghar pe he had a ghar ke bar garage mein office jaisa bana hua tha to wahi pe letter type hua wahi pe usne rights mujhe diye maine paise diye aur i was all happy and relieved and as soon as i got that letter i put it in my pocket and i rushed to the studio normally i used to go during lunch time but now i had reached there before lunch time do jaise bahar aaye hari bhai main i just hugged him and i said ye dekhiye rights leke aa gaya bola khush hai abhi tu bola ha khush hai anil ko phone kiya main bola abhi karu to you know din mein double time double rate lagta tha okay ha raat ko karte to sasta 10 baje ke baad aur sasta ho jata tha okay to i was waiting ke raat ke 10 ke baad phone karunga मैंने तुम अभी मेरे रूम से फोन करके बोल दो खैर आई इन्फॉर्म माई पेरेंट्स एंड अनिल दैट आई गॉट द राइट्स फाइनली आई टोल माई फादर हरी बाई आई पेड द मनी एंड आई तो आफ्टर आई गॉट टू बॉम्बे माई फादर ऑल्सो इज वेरी हैप्पी तो मी माई फादर अनिल बी ऑल थ्री वेंट टू अनिल एंड वर्क विद हरी बाई एंड हमारे तुम्हारे ऑल्सो ओके सी दी कनेक्शन वॉज दैट ऑल्सो ही प्लेड हरी बाई सन इन दैट फिल्म तो यू वेंट देयर एंड माई फादर थैंक टू मैं माई फादर सेट आई टेक सम टाइम टू पे यू दिस मनी थैंक यू सो मच तो ये सर नहीं कोई फिक्र मत करो पहले पूरी पिक्चर का सेटअप बनाओ फिर मुझे दे देना पैसे तो माई फादर थे कुछ बदली में कुछ मतलब ऑफर्ड के भाई सम काइंड ऑफ इंटरेस्ट से बहुत पैसा आ गया है कपूर साहब ऐसे करो एक एक केस ब्लैक लेवल का मेरे को दे दो After year and a half or two years, because he lost his two brothers, his mother in that interim period, he had a heart attack. He went abroad. He was in America. He came back, and uh, he came back. He straight away went for this shooting of Arkane's film Katal. And after he came back, and I was busy with completing both sides. Then I think we were in Uti, or we were. We got to know that he's passed away. So I had come to his house, and I told his secretary that Jamna Daji. I have वन लाइक ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड ऑफ हिस्स खैर वो फ्यूनल व्यूनल हो गया उसके बाद जमुना दास जी का फ़ोन आया मेरे को बोले कि अब भाई के घर आइए तो भाभी थी जो वन ऑफ द ब्रदर्स वाइफ से भाभी हैं और 
भाभी की एक रिक्वेस्ट है आपने बोला था सवा लाख रुपये कि हर महीने इनको दस दस हज़ार देना ताकि इनका भी घर चलता रहे क्योंकि अभी इनके पास भी कुछ है नहीं और जब तक कि कोर्ट से ऑर्डर नहीं आएगा कुछ कर नहीं सकते तो ऐसे ठीक है दस दस या पंद्रह पंद्रह हज़ार जो भी तो ही वेर एवर आई वॉज दूज टू कम एवरी मंथ ईज टू कलेक्ट द मनी गो तो आए इन्होंने भी जब एक दिन हिसाब लिया तो उनको लगा मैंने कुछ बीस पच्चीस हज़ार रुपये ज़्यादा दे दिए थे तो मेरे पता है भाभी बुला दी आपको तो मैं गया भाभी से मिला भाभी ने बोला बोली जी आपने ज़्यादा पैसे दे दिए अब वो तो खर्च हो गए हम आपको अब नहीं, नहीं कुछ नहीं कुछ नहीं मतलब एंड देन द सेक्रेटरी टोल मी दर आर प्रोड्यूसर्स हू ओड हरी बाई मनी फॉर इज एक्टिंग एंड देव नॉट पेड अप एंड यू आर टेकन यू आर दी पर्सन हुज आई मीन अमंग्स ऑफ यू देन मे बी लेटर दे मस्ट है and he had mentioned this to javed sahab the only person who returned hari bhai's money was boni aur yahi boni ke upar ek abhi vendor ne case kiya hua yeah you just mentioned about the, the incident about one of the camera vendors so yeah, he, he, ha he had some he was a vendor with some equipment here yeah. see i've been around for 50 years 45 years i've been an independent producer this is my 45th film agar aisa hota to meri journey itni lambi to ho nahi sakti thi so these are just arm twisting tactics get to extract more money and he was told ki you will be paid like others to jis aadmi ka bill ek ek crore 70 lakh ka uska bill hai 170 or 174 or whatever it is and 17 has been paid 1 crore 7 lakhs has been paid kuch 63 ya 64 ya jo bhi uska bill hai 63 ya 64 lakhs balance hai to jisne 1 crore 7 lakh de diye wo 64 lakhs sabke kyun leke aur upar se wo akela nahi dusre bhi vendor the jinke balance hai aur ye system hai yahan pe and especially since the picture was stuck and i mean we went through covid we went through hardships agar badniyati hoti to main tumko ek sath bhi kyu deta right aur jab maine 1 lakh 7000 1 crore 7 lakh de diye hain to main ye tumhare ye paisa rakhe ke bada bhi ban jaunga when i got to know of it i called him up yeah i said i'll pay you the money i mean film is releasing now i told you i'll pay you when the film releases here he said nahi i've waited for so long i want interest i said aapko pata hai मरी भी हालत में इंडस्ट्री थी माई पिक्चर पर हैप्स द लास्ट पिक्चर ऑफ दैट ईरा ड्यूरिंग दैट पीरियड पर इंटरेस्ट तो मैं दूंगा नहीं और इंटरेस्ट आज तक हुआ नहीं है ऐसे कि कोई ऐसा वेंडर ने इंटरेस्ट लिया नहीं है yeah. कोई और कोई किसी ने सोच भी नहीं सकता एंड स्पेशली फॉर अ फिल्म विच इज़ गॉन थ्रू सच हार्डशिप्स हाउ कैन आई मतलब ये पैसे भी आपके रुके इसलिए थे क्योंकि पैसे की शॉर्टेज हो गई थी इसलिए रुके हुए थे यही नहीं कि नीयत नहीं थी देने की इसके बीच में भी कुछ लोगों को बीच में इमरजेंसी थी तो मैंने दिए थे आपको भी एक करोड़ सात लाख दिए तो मतलब दिए है ना देने की तब दी है ना सर यू नो मिस्टर इंडिया इज वन ऑफ द बिग माइल स्टोन इन फिल्म जर्नी नाउ देर आर रिपोर्ट्स दैट यू बी मेकिंग मिस्टर इंडिया सी अगेन देर आर रिपोर्ट्स दैट देर कुड बी अ पॉसिबिलिटी बिकॉज देर इज अ फॉरन बिग स्टूडियो विच इज अप्रोच मी दे आर रेडी टू ज्वाइन मी एंड जी टू make it together and uh, it is at a very nascent stage i have heard him out and uh, definitely i mean if somebody is ready to invest money and he says even if it requires 1000 crores i am ready to put into it to matlab hota na ki aerial khul jate hai ki wahan bhi phir to possibility enormous hogi to uske aage koi baat nahi hui and that person has been keen because he's met me earlier or a couple of times and every time he says boni ji ab ye kyun nahi banate ye kyun nahi banate to is baar usne bola to maine thoda seriously liye because he went a step ahead ke paise main dalunga hazar crore bhi lage to main dal dunga to aadmi thoda seriously le leta to ab that's the stage ab dekho bistrand is not a simple film we we'll have to find the right director the the right script and we need a devoted team Shekhar was doing nothing else except Mr India Amit was doing nothing else except Maidan so we'll have to find a similar kind of a setup first build a screenplay either it it will be rebooted or this thing all these are at a very nascent stage at the hai ki bhai koi koi serious planning hui bhi of course you have a very emotional connection uh, and a personal connection with Mr India given today how technology is progressing do you think we'll see a digital avatar of Sri Devi in Mr India sequel I told you this is at a very nascent stage the discussion when it takes a serious turn probably I'll be able to answer this question of yours Shekhar Kapoor uh, when we asked him about Mr India he told us an incident where uh, 
where how impressed you were after seeing the rushes rushes of the song har kisi ko nahi milta from the film jabaz and he told you okay let me he took it as a challenge Do you remember that meeting and when this was of course uh, before the shooting of the song kaate nahi karte ji kya tha kaate nahi karte gana jab record kiya tha it was everybody's favorite song un dino mein paresi ka dar nahi tha to har ek ke paas cassette tha gaane ka mere gaadi mein bhi cassette tha to ye gana chalta tha main jahan jis party mein jata tha ye cassette laga tha everybody used to enjoy because it was a song with a new voice and it had that mood and then everybody knew sri was doing the song so you know sabki imagination uh, daud lagati us un dino mein sri ki costume zaks karta tha he was a costume designer and he used to do costumes of uh, sri ke karta tha sri had two three costume designers yeah. and uh, he zaks used to do for zinat also for parvin babi also more for parvin babi so he had made costumes of sri in मिस्टर इंडिया टू हवा वाई के कोई कॉस्ट्यूम जर्क्स नहीं बनाए थे तो खैर जब सेट का मॉडल लगा कुछ रिहर्सल वेसल भी हुई थी सब कुछ हुआ था ये रिहर्सल के वक्त की बात है जब मैंने मूवमेंट वूवमेंट देखे सरोज ने बताया जो तो मैंने बोला शेखर मैंने जाबाज जो पिक्चर देखी उसमें दर इज़ नो स्किन शो बट द सॉन्ग फाइनली इज सो सेंश दैट यू नो इट इट्स so appealing that it will have a repeat it it has a repeat value okay do you think we can surpass that so he said yes we'll surpass that to jis din shooting shuru honi thi set pe lighting waiting ho rahi thi pehle se humne dekh liya tha acha iske development mein ek aur do cheez aur hui thi ke pehle ye tha ki mr indy ke sath gana ga rahi to anil bola main bhi कहे वो वेस्ट इंडिया तो दिखाई नहीं देता तो हमने फिर एक सेट के अंदर एक एक पोर्शन ऐसा बनाया जहाँ पे रेड ग्लास भी था तो अनिल दिखाई देता है नहीं दिखाई देता है तो विच कुड गेट अनिल इन टू द सॉन्ग ओरिजिनली ही वॉज नॉट पार्ट ऑफ द सॉन्ग ओरिजिनली टू बिगिन विद ही वॉज नॉट पार्ट ऑफ द सॉन्ग तो खैर अब तो पूरे गाने में आ गए वो तो जब शूटिंग के जो कॉस्ट्यूम वॉस्ट्यूम आए सबके तो श्री के कॉस्ट्यूम आए तो शेखर ने बोला नहीं नॉट दिस कॉस्ट्यूम नहीं नॉट दिस कॉस्ट्यूम नॉट दिस कॉस्ट्यूम तो यू टोल श्री के आई वांट टू आउट डू वॉट यू डिड इन जाबाज दैट वाज जस्ट अ शिफॉन शिफॉन साड़ी बट शी हैड थ्री चेंजेस इन शी हैड अ वाइट साड़ी अ पिंक साड़ी एंड अ येलो साड़ी तो ही सेट आई नीड अ डीप ब्लू और अ रॉयल ब्लू कलर साड़ी and let's try that to khair sari phir kuki malotra thi jo ek dusri designer ki sri ke kapde banati thi to wo leke aa gayi sari so the sari was brought she wore the sari and then he had told ke bhai sari ka pallu thoda zyada lamba lagta and then the cameraman after seeing the sari and the kind of change of costume was there he ordered for a wind machine to be uh, ye set laga tha film mein which has got the biggest floor in the amongst all the studios in bombay to ek kone mein wind machine lagi jaise ki hawa aari to lage ki waqai mein outdoor mein gana ho raha hai aur saadi bhi ka pallu bhi if you remember face pe jayega udega ye karega so that's how that song was created and uh, i mean we took about 12 days aur ye set bhi divide karke do set lage the ek ek main set tha और जो लाल जो ग्लास हाउस बना था वो एक सेपरेट फ्लोर पे भी सेट लगाया था तो ऐसे करके गाना मेरे कहना दस बारह दिन लगे थे उससे ज़्यादा लगे होंगे क्योंकि गाने में हम लोग दस दस बारह बारह दिन हमारे लिए कॉमन था इट वाज वन ऑफ द मेजर हाईलाइट्स ऑफ द फिल्म पीपल टिल ट्री एंड देन इट वॉज कॉपीड बाई सेवरल फिल्म मेकर्स इन क्वेट ऑफ यू हीरोइंस ट्राई टू एम्यूलेट दैट दे वे इंस्पायर्ड बाई दैट not just in hindi films the south films too i remember seeing two three songs yohi shifon sari wohi hawa wohi wind machine use ho rahi hai indoor mein outdoor mein bhi but it set off that uh, that mood that uh, that look which became uh, synonymous with you know sensuous yeah, songs but they, we, i mean we didn't have, there was not a single shot where there was any skin shown 
you know, we have seen many photos of uh, of you on the sets of uh, of uh, Mr. India on other films, and so you of course married uh, Shri Devi in nineteen ninety five. What is the most filmy thing you have done to impress her? <laughs> well, I don't recall. You know, I just went with the flow. Ab filmy thing kya? Matlab I used to see that she gets the best of the rooms, best of the hotels, and. Uh, I mean, she's comfortable in any which way she can think of. Well, I was constantly trying to impress her. The the idea behind uh, looking after was give her the best. In fact, there were those days. You know, I used to go and pick her up also and drop her to the airport, even if she was not shooting for my film. So, wo ek alag tha and. Uh, But that's how you see my fondness for her, my liking for her, my love for her just kept on growing. Was there a song you used to sing for her? No. <laughs> But of course, when we were Mahabaleshwar shooting for Karthi Ampere, Mr. India, some portion was shot in Mahabaleshwar. So she used to travel with me in my car, and I had the cassette. So she used to travel with me not because she wants to travel with me, but because she wanted to hear the song. But I enjoyed her, the fact that she's traveling with me. And sometimes after pack up, she used to say, "Ni duar lagao." तो लंबा राउंड होता था दोबारा लगा हुआ तो एक उसका एक अलग मजा था आई यूज टू फील गुड मेरी ओपन जिप्सी होती थी और कि भाई ड्राइव तो मैं कर रहा हूँ साइड में सी बैठी हुई है तो एक अलग मजा था लुफ्त था उस चीज का सर हाउ मच वॉट वॉज साइनिंग अमाउंट यू गेव टू टू श्री मॉम फॉर वेन यू साइन बट यह the she asked for 10 lakh rupees you know trying to begin the bargain because i knew that she had signed the last film for 8 and a half lakh rupees so obviously she would want a, ra a raise for her daughters which is very understandable to so, 10 mangi ki to main 9 pe aaunga and then she said okay 9 at least 9 she said 10 rupees oh lakh nahi bolte the 10 rupees to maine instantly bolo no i will pay 11 rupees तो दो मिनट के लिए वो चौंक गई और फ्रीज हो गई थी तो शी शुक अप एंड शी रिकॉर्ड किया भैया ग्यारह मिल रहे तो लॉटरी लग गई देन शी स्टाफ थर्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज आई सेट नो हेल्प फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज बाय पपी स्टाफ शुड स्टे वेरी क्लोज टू अर होटल आई सेट नो दे विल स्टे इन द सेम होटल तो जो उसने सोचा था उससे ज़्यादा ही मैंने तो इससे उसकी मदर को लगा यहाँ मैं पागल हूँ बट यू सी दैट ओपन the doors to my relationship with sri's mother she she realized acha then when she opened the she used to have a register of dates the normal thing was 35 to 40 days per film that is how she used to give dates for the south film that is how she used to give dates for because those days heroines were there only as ke gaane wane ke liye do char emotional scene do climax pe khada hai almost like a matlab unka fixed ye rehta tha तो मैंने कहा नहीं मुझे आई नीड अबाउट सिक्सटी फाइव सेवेंटी डेज तो शी गेम भी सिक्सटी फाइव सेवेंटी डेज विदाउट रियलाइजिंग कि मैंने एक दो लाख रुपए ज़्यादा दिए पर दो पिक्चर की डेटें ले ली जो बाद में शी डिस्कवर्ड बिकॉज फाइनली आई आई डेंट कंप्लीट द फिल्म इन सिक्सटी फाइव डेज वी शॉर्ट विद फॉर हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव डेज ओके वी शॉर्ट द फिल्म थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी ओवर थ्री हंड्रेड डेज सो क्योंकि यू नो आर एन डी चल रही थी ट्रायल एंड एरर था एवरीथिंग वॉज इन कैमरा टाइम लगता था गानों में भी टाइम लगता था और जो मिस्टर इंडिया की सीक्वेंस है हनुमान की फाइट थी मिस्टर इंडिया इंट्रोडक्शन नो वी हैड अगेन सेट ऑन अ प्लेटफॉर्म वेर वी हैड दो फुट स्टेप्स मेड और नीचे से आदमी खींचते थे तो टू गिव अ मोमेंट कि भाई मिस्टर इंडिया इज वॉकिंग इन इफ यू रिमेंबर दैट सीक्वेंस प्री इंटरवल सीक्वेंस एक हंटर का सीन था कैसे मतलब यू नो ऑल दीज थिंग्स टूक टाइम डाइनिंग एक रेस्टोरेंट का सीक्वेंस है जहाँ पे खाना खाने बैठे तो मिस्टर इंडिया कम जो आदमी कंकर डालता है खाने में तो उसको कंकर खिलाता है कैसे मतलब फिर पूरा जो असली खाना है हाउ ही कैरीज अ टेबल आउट एंड गिव्स इट टू पोर अर्चिन आउटसाइड द रेस्टोरेंट देयर तो ऑल दीज थिंग्स टुक टाइम रियल इफेक्ट्स एंड सी द वायर यूज टू बी डार्क रादर दे यूज टू यूज सम काइंड ऑफ अ ब्लैक पॉलिश टू सो दैट द सिल्वर वायर यूज टू बी यू नो ऑफ सिल्वर मटीरियल so to camouflage it or to hide it there used to be a black cream which used to be used okay kahin pe boot polish bhi use ho jati thi 
and that Peter Pereira used to shoot. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Viru again, you see this entire Hanuman sequence and this. We thought of the sequence, but uh, Viru was a great help. At the entire Hanuman sequence, it was Viru who insisted, designed. It. Designed, yeah. <coughs> it was there. Uh, it was there at just as a as a sequence, but it became an item thanks to Viru. No, you made uh, headlines recently by when you announced that you know no entry sequel. You of course signed uh, Delhi Dosanjh, Varun uh, Varun Dhawan, and your son Arjun Kapoor. Do you think signing a star like Delhi Dosanjh means a guaranteed box office, a big number? Yes, I have signed them. Yes, there will be no entry two, which will be made. But let's stop it because stop at this because. One has got to travel on this journey. Maybe when the film comes on release, we can talk of that. Sir, you're a self-made producer, a success story, really. You know, we often hear reports of heroines or actresses who are being replaced. It also happened in, in Medan, although for reason. Why it's always the heroines who get replaced from movies? No, no, no. There's no hard and fast rule. Sometimes the actors are uncomfortable. Sometimes the director feels that they've made a wrong choice it's as simple as this there's never a malice or there's never i don't think there's like for instance where we are concerned uh, kirti suresh kirti suresh felt uh, she wasn't right for the part because there were two grown up children one daughter of about 17 18 years old and a son of about 1920 and uh, so we parted amicably there was no bad blood or aisa kuch nahi tha and Fortunately, even the director in the edit had felt that I think we may have gone wrong with the casting, but he was not as strong as Kirti Suresh's desire to move out because she felt that this being her first Hindi film, she doesn't want to come as a mother of two grown-up children, which I can understand. That time I, I felt bad, I was jilted, but now I understand she was perhaps she has got the right to think of her career. Well, uh, thank you so much for talking to us and sharing your film. Thank you with for us. having me on your show, and thank you for being patient and at the same time accommodating by asking questions which are relevant to my journey as a film producer and my films. Thank you so much for your time and best of luck, sir.